Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, from MPK, Music Public Kingdom, comes this mysterious but very cool looking record player. This is the Lightning Vinyl Record Player. What does that even mean? Hey guys, it is late in the evening and I'm about ready to start editing and it occurred to me, I'm driving around, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't think that says Lightning Vinyl Record Player, it says Lighting Vinyl Record Player, which would make a lot more sense. So. I'm an idiot, and for your amusement, I'm not gonna edit it to make me look better. I'm just gonna leave it as is, where I still think it's called a lightning vinyl record player, whatever that is, but no, it's lighting. Of course it's a lighting record player. So anyway, enjoy. Check out this video, you guys. You're not gonna wanna miss this. This is Recordology. Okay guys, and here it is. The box is pretty dang big. Um, lightning vinyl record player. I think I have an idea of what that means but I'm not 100% sure. Comes in light wood, red wood, or yellow wood. Ours is red wood. I would have been very curious to see what yellow wood looks like. And it looks like a very like mid-century design. Be curious to see how that plays out. Um, and then here we've got a stylish, unique design, two-speed turntable, auto stop, built-in speakers, good sound quality, Audio-Technica magnetic cartridge, stereo RCA output, external speaker systems, I mean stereo RCA output, two external speaker systems, Bluetooth functionality, LED changing light base. I think that's what lightning refers to, but we shall find out. Okay, without further ado, let's open it. Now, Music Public Kingdom are the ones responsible for probably the best suitcase player on the market, which is their portable vinyl record player. I wish it had a more snappy name, but it is a fantastic, fantastic device. And they're also, everything we've reviewed from them has very good packaging. So, okay, we'll set that aside. I'm not sure what that is. But if you look at the top here, as you can see, everything is very well packaged. Got a couple of boxes here. We'll see what those are in a minute. And then you've got the device itself. I think this is the way I should pull it out. So let's go ahead and remove it. I think I did it right side up for a change. A little package in there. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, okay, so this is a manual, I assume. And look at this cool white spacer. There's a card with a thank you message on it and a QR code. And the manual. Cool. And let's see if there's anything else in there. That's that. This box has power supply. This one has adapter plugs if you're in a different region. And this one, let's see what's in here. Feet. And Packaging, you guys, is amazing. Awesome. Look at this. A cleaning brush. And we've seen these before on their other turntables, you guys. These are fantastic carbon fiber brushes. They seem to include this with every one of their turntables, which is a great idea. Very nice touch. Feet. I'm curious what feet look like. Interesting. <laughs> Check this out. So it's clearly a uh, plastic molded with a uh, sort of a design, either painted on there, or shrink wrapped, I don't know. But that's interesting, it looks like it just goes in and rotates to snap. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpack the turntable itself. It's always tricky unpacking a device because you don't know exactly what is what. So you gotta be very careful, go slowly, take your time, oh this is cool. Okay, so there's the dust cover. I've never seen an oval shaped one. It's got that typical cling wrap, sticky plastic wrap. It's got little rubber nubs there. And here is the turntable, wow. Okay, this is unique, you guys, cool. 
Look at this. Okay, that is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Look at that. I've never seen anything even remotely like this. This is really, really cool. Huh. Okay, let me finish setting it up and we'll uh, take a closer look. Okay guys, let's start with the bottom. There are the speakers. So stereo left and right channel and the three legs. You'll notice a lot of turntables are actually only putting in three legs. And the reason why is you get better stability when there's only three points of contact because it's impossible for the unit to wobble in that case. These are not uh, cushioned anyway. These are a hard, rigid foot. So make sure that you um, have it on a good playing surface. All right, let's take a look at the back panel here. We have the audio outputs. I did not see any cables included, but that's okay. You can provide your own. Um, here is the auto stop on and off switch. So that's not a preamp switch. That is an auto stop switch, which is really interesting. And then the power supply and the two hinges here. Before we go much further, I want to talk to you about the materials. Um, it is fairly light. This dust cover is the same type of plastic I can tell that, you know, other dust covers are made of. So don't have it upside down like I did for the sake of scratching it because it'll be very susceptible to that. Um, I, I can't tell if this plinth is real wood or a wood veneer, I mean, or if it's just plastic. This is plastic, but I am not sure about the plinth. Let's take this off. So it's belt driven. Uh, we can take, oh, it's got a circlip. You know, I'm going to take one for the team and take the circlip off because I'm curious. These can be kind of tricky. So, pulling them off is a lot easier than putting them on. But with the circlip off, put our finger behind the belt, pull it around the motor pulley, and that should come right off. There is suspension on this side, but this side is rigid. Oh, wait, that's because of this transport screw. So, just with your fingers, you can screw this transport screw down. It would help if you actually used a screwdriver. I didn't go to college for nothing, despite appearances. Okay. Now, we got suspension all the way around. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You got the motor opposite the stylus, which is good. Typically, um, with this type of mechanism, I would have assumed the motor would be over here which is where it is on a lot of the suitcase players, but that's about it. Let's see if it gives me any hint as to this plinth material. It's wrapped all the way around the edge there. And here is the platter, which is also plastic. Okay, and here's a shot of the cartridge. It's our familiar entry-level Audio-Technica cartridge. Oops, and I accidentally pulled off the stylus guard, but that's okay. So this is gonna be a great cartridge for this unit, you guys. So again, this is a step up. Uh, from other units just in the sense that it's got the magnetic cartridge. Um, it's going to give us really good sound quality. I can just tell you based on this. This is a good rugged cartridge. Let's take a look at the other controls. Okay, so we've got a light button here, our on and off slash volume button, and then back here is our speed select, 33, 45, and Bluetooth. Bluetooth isn't a speed, but you know what I mean. Here's our cueing lever which looks really cool. I wonder what the tracking force is. So let's go ahead and get our tracking force gauge out and measure it. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this tracks at. I'm going to start in the neighborhood of 1.5 grams. So it's heavier than that. Let's go up to two grams. Heavier than that. Let's go to four grams. And just about, right. so it looks like it's about just shy of four grams of downforce. So, mystery solved. It will not damage your vinyl. So it's tracking just above 3.5 grams and that is perfectly fine for this cartridge. So, with that behind us, let's go ahead and power up this bad boy and give it a listen. I waited for it to get a little bit dark out because I wanted to show off this light base um, and I, it works a lot better with a 
lower light level, obviously. So we're gonna test a couple of things. We are gonna test the Bluetooth in a minute, but I wanted to show the lighting effects, and then also we'll test the record player quality and the Bluetooth quality as well. I've gone ahead and done this ahead of time, so you don't have to watch me fumble my way through it. But um, yeah, so here's how it works. So the on and off switch is the volume, which we already talked about. Then there's this light button. And so the base will light up, and I'm not sure how well this is gonna photograph. Actually, it looks like it's doing a pretty good job. Um, that kind of like shuddering effect that you see there isn't really happening. That's just something with a camera. So that like flicker doesn't really happen to the eye. It's just something that the camera's doing. So you push the button in again, and it goes into different modes. So there's like a solid color mode where you can toggle through every one of the colors. It's really cool. Like that's not flickering to my eye, but I can see it on camera flickering. That's weird. And if I get all the way through it here, hold on. There is actually a couple modes where it changes color automatically. I don't think it does it to the music. Okay, hold on. Okay, so press and hold to turn it off. And then it goes into different modes. Okay, so now it's switching automatically a hard switch. Now you press it again and it'll hard switch faster. Press it again and it'll kind of fade in and out fast or fade in and out slowly. I guess that's probably my favorite one, fading in and out slowly. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to the, uh, the record player itself. I'm gonna reposition the mic so that you can hear in stereo the actual speakers, which as we saw before are on the bottom, so. I'm gonna skip around a little bit here. Maybe save some time in editing by doing my music cutting now. You know, it sounds good. It sounds like I would expect it to. Again, these are, you know, 70 plus year old recordings, but I think it sounds good. So let's go ahead and listen to another track here. A world far away. No, it sounds like I would expect it to. It was good sound. I mean, it wasn't knock your socks off, you know, sound quality that I wasn't expecting, but it wasn't poor sound quality at all. It was very adequate, very good sound. Now let's flip it to Bluetooth, and I have my phone paired to the device. So let's go ahead and do a little Bluetooth test here. Okay guys, and to test out the Bluetooth, how about a little Christian rap? I'm a little hope killer, jiggy, real cold killer, not a fear bone in the minute kids roll with him. We ain't throwing trash at the window. They just said a squad way little. Okay guys, so the Bluetooth works, it works well. Um, the sound is adequate, it's good, it's not, you know, knock your socks off fantastic, but it is rich enough. It is moderate to above moderate fidelity, from what I can tell. There's not an incredible bass punch, um, but you know, again, this is not gonna be a replacement for higher end audio equipment. This is going to be something to augment your listening experience. And this is a tactile experience. Look how awesome this thing is, you guys. This is about fun. This is about, you know, playing with your records, interacting with your music, and on that level, this goes 150%, absolutely very cool device. Um, highly, highly recommended. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in this, I've got a 30% off code for you down in the description. So check that out, you'll get 30% off of yours. Uh, I would recommend this, absolutely. It's a great, great device. And again, if the sound quality portion um, is of utmost importance to you, then just connect the outputs in the back to a bigger stereo and I'm sure you'll be fine. Because with a magnetic cartridge, it's capturing really good fidelity. It's just sort of limited by those speakers. Okay guys, and if you want to own this really cool record player, click on the link in the description below. But in the meantime, happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. for watching Recordology. Stay tuned for a new show every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter.